have a cool story to share with you today about some local teens using a 3D printer to help needy children around the world. Our health reporter, Carmen Lyle, is mm. joining us now. And it's incredible. Like, what are these high school students doing? Yeah, it is so neat. They are finding a great way to help others by using cutting edge technology. What these teens are doing is making prosthetic hands that will eventually be given to children who need them. Lucas Whitfield admits he's addicted to 3D printing. You can create like anything you want and it's limited to your imagination. And right now, he can't believe who's going to benefit from his work. It makes me feel really good. Lucas is one of three Edmonton High School students using the technology to make free prosthetic hands for low-income children in Alberta and in third world countries. Then they'll be able to have a better life than what they have now. His teacher, Aaron DeBlanco, came up with the idea alongside a Calgary businessman who specializes in 3D printing. It's overwhelming. I mean, I have two small children myself, but I can imagine uh, what if one of my ch children at a young age lost their hand. They ordered prosthetic hand kits at a cost of $25. If made by a professional, a prosthesis like this would cost thousands. This could go to, to a kid who might be able to participate more with his peers in the playground or wherever it is. One hand takes 13 hours to print. The goal is to make about 50. It's truly game changing. This is Colin Pischke's specialty. And so from Calgary, he helped get the kids started and excited about using the machine. Operating a 3D printer can be a little tricky. There's definitely a learning curve involved. And so my role is to, to help them with that process. Also cool to note, the hands are environmentally friendly. They're made out of a corn-based plastic. So that if these are ever broken and thrown out, they will eventually biodegrade. Once Lucas and the other teens involved prove their hands work, their next step will be to find the kids who need them. I'm hoping by the end of the month. I'd really like to see their face when they get this. 